Hey, what's going on guys? It's Gathalion and welcome back to Destiny. Today we're going to be doing another legendary analysis and we're going to be taking a look at the Atheon's epilogue. This is a legendary auto rifle that drops off of Atheon, the Time Lord, the final boss of the Vault of Glass, and he is an absolute son of a bitch to beat. But once you finish out the technique for beating his encounter, it's not really that difficult. I do have a guide up on my channel on how to do it. But anyways, let's take a look at this rifle. Going down the rifle, we have a number of sights. I'm not sure if every single one of them spawns with the same parts, but I do know that between mine and a friend's, it did require different materials to upgrade. I don't know if that affects the parts themselves, but from the looks of it, it did have the exact same bonuses and perks within it. So we're gonna go down the tree a little bit. We're looking at red dot ores, uh, accurate sight. Um, we got another one that is a flexible sight, light and good recoil which will basically um, increase your reload, but it will uh, decrease your range and stability. Then we're looking at another that increases range, but lowers stability and reload. Uh, we have persistence. This weapon grows more accurate the longer it is fired. It becomes a very accurate bullet hose, and as you can see, it has a very high rate of fire. And with a weapon like this, you're really not looking at ha that much stability, but once you get this weapon, it is uh, quite stable and you have to upgrade it quite a bit before it becomes really powerful. Like most legendaries and exotics, this gun really shines once you level it up a bit. We got some damage upgrades, then we got our mid-tier perks. There's flared magwell, which is reload uh, speed. Then we're looking at field scout, which is maximum ammo capacity, and that ups the ammo magazine from 70 to let's, what is that, put it up to? Puts it up to 84, another 14 points in the mag. I personally like to, uh, I like to go with perfect balance to make this thing as stable as possible. The next perk is glass half full, which makes the bottom half of each magazine cause a little bit of extra damage. And then we're looking at a few damage upgrades at the bottom tree. The very special part of this gun is Oracle Disruptor. This is really useful inside of the Vault of Glass. It helps you do bonus damage to Oracles. So before we get out of here, let's take a look at exactly how this weapon performs in combat. I have set a story mission to level 28 heroic mode, and we're going to have a little fun with this baby. This is my absolute favorite rifle in the game. It tears through enemies. It's great for PvP. The high fire rate is super nice for clean headshots, taking out enemies really quickly, um, really putting pressure on side of nodes. So another thing to note is this gun is a primary weapon that also has an element on it. It does have void damage. Void damage is gonna do bonus damage against enemies with purple shields until their shield is depleted. It's also gonna be really helpful inside of missions and inside of strikes that have the void burn modifier. Void burn modifier will give you quad damage for all burn, but it or for all void, but it will also give enemies quad damage for all of their void. As you can see, this weapon is super high fire rate. It does just an absolute amount of bullets in a short amount of time, and it is stable. Once you spec it into stability, once you spec it into becoming more accurate as you fire it, this gun is a bullet hose, which is the best way I could put that. I know that's kind of a cliche term for a high fire rate weapon, but this thing really packs a wallop, and you will not be disappointed if you get your hands on this. So, really, good luck to anybody who is trying to get Atheon's epilogue. I know that I've seen about one drop per raid. Um, I know that myself and Baru got an Atheon's epilogue in our uh, second raid of the Vault of Glass. We both got one, and it's it's an absolute beast of an assault rifle. If you like auto rifles, this is one that you're probably going to want to play with. As always, guys, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all back inside Destiny.